And here you've got like three stages. One stage that you're like not aroused enough, so like you're not excited enough. The second one is like the middle where you are in the, like in the flow state. And the third one is like when you're like overexcited. <coughs> There's one thing that you all kind of are doing, but I need to look into it, like how good you are in it. Like today I've noticed that when you're losing like two or three rounds in a row, all of a sudden the team speak is quiet. Like there is no communication for a couple of seconds, right? Like today there was like a three, a zero two, so you are already quiet, zero three you are like even worse, and then somebody said something, I think you hyped it up a little bit, or you said like, let's just go with those bots, or, or it was mad at, I don't know. But then you kind of started picking up on it, and you just like need to be able to shake those negative emotions, that moment that you're just falling down a little bit faster. But you know, already? How are you ready? Oh, next time, knock the door because I could be up. naked fully, you know? Yeah, that's but yeah. you know, in Japan, Bro, they, they Pablo, look at the menu. Was I naked uh, one minute ago there? Yeah. I see the knock the door. Yeah, like uh, the expectations for us at the moment are is obviously to qualify for a major. So I think, like, what else than that? I mean, we had a rough period in the EPL, obviously, and this uh, Nordic qualifier for Blast which we didn't perform as uh, we wanted to, but we had a rough week behind us, which we practiced uh, like nine hours a day and we tried to fix as much as possible, like as much mistakes as we did before. We tried to fix all of them and um, I think we, we are on the right path. We are start, we started finding our identity, so I think it's, it's going to be much better this RMR. You want to change full rules? <laughs> no. I'm yes. hoping you're in your We got... Uh, a new player in a team, if I can say it like that. We got a mental coach, she's helping us a lot and I think uh, we are on the right path from that also. I think Ula is doing, doing a great job, she's here in Malta with us and we are having a, a little bit of sessions with her and she's helping us with what we should do and what we shouldn't do and also she's helping us with uh, nutrition about the food and everything before the games and stuff and I think she's doing a great job and uh, it will obviously help our team in a long term for sure. Then he doesn't have a timing to like hit vent anymore because he's... Usually when the team is together for the first couple of days, uh, what's happening is that everyone wants to be I would say like coning of the success and that's the moment at the start where usually players are having habits from different team environments but also they're like super resistant to change because they're not sure if the change is something that will allow them to progress and they're actually afraid that hey you know I was a good in a previous team so if I change will I be as good as I used to be so quite often when the team starts clicking together first like the fact that they don't know each other so well can be dragging them down and also you know, when they start learning a lot about each other, this is the moment when they kind of start building the trust between each other. So I feel like, yes, they needed time to kind of pick up um, and like start trusting each other, but at the same time, they also needed to understand that the only way to achieve their goals is actually through being a team, through being together. And I feel like I managed to reinforce that message a lot while working with them. But that was also a lot coming from like understanding that first I need to look into myself and then I need to look how myself is actually being able to impact the team's strength so we can combine the strengths and move forward. And I feel like this team clicked amazingly well with understanding that the power is not in the, in the individual, the power is with the team and you cannot win five man game, you know, individually. You need to have that group that is actually looking towards the same direction. Meeting Heat again, like obviously I don't think they are a bad team, I think they are a really good team. 
but they are kind of an underdogs in most of these tournaments but they still can show a good fight and I also think it's gonna be a bit tricky since like we're probably gonna play the map that we already played against them so it's gonna be some mind games are we gonna do the same things are we gonna change something so obviously it's when you play against someone that you already beaten like a few weeks ago it's gonna be a bit harder since obviously they know what we did and we know what they do so it's gonna be a bit tricky but i think we're gonna win all right are you gonna carry tomorrow 30 bomb maybe or if you don't what do you, you mean get maybe? Less than i feel confident fucking fucking maybe yeah <laughs> well there's no pressure but if the last time we played ancient against heat at the rmr springs spring, springs killed 40. oh i was just about to so, say what do you mean and you have his position so if Again, no pressure. Let's keep it going, guys. The, the most important thing today, guys, on this prank and all the shit, is a smile and control the situation. And if you frustrate yourself, just breathe. Yeah, just breathe, guys. Breathe. Breathe and enjoy. Nice, MVP heads up. Hi, also. Hi! Is this behind you? Nice try. Good break, good break. But it's good, we start CG on one of these maps. We can't complain. It's, we can also start T. Oh, no, it's a no. <laughs> it's no T, it's two club, man. And uh, nook? nook? It is no. Nook. You need to focus a lot on how you support each other. And the only thing that can, let's say, push you off the game are like your emotions. So for today, I want you to have like one goal in the game. Not maybe goal, but like. I want you to like be mindful of what you want to do. I want you to kind of be able to control your emotions. You with me? Yeah. So I can't be there with you, so we can just do it here and you can just repeat it later on. My first game with you guys. Boss. <laughs> okay, ends on three. One, One two, two, three. three. Yes! We'll do it. Oh, this animal. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy the silence. Uh... <laughs> Mark, can you fix me cables? Nice, how are you? Toxic Jacob, a lot of oh, cool. That's not oh, he didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about 40 bombing now. Oh. What are these sounds? Oh. If I get less than 20, I s. <laughs> okay, sir. After this. <laughs> okay, man. Let's go. Middle C. I yeah. haven't been yeah. more relaxed in my, in my whole life. Oh. Okay. 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 I'm allowed to fart? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Please, okay. please, no. please, no. It's not nice to stand here behind. <laughs> but I will tell you when I'm gonna fart, just stand here behind. I'm ready to fuck it. It seems as if Pete wanted to sell a little bit of a fake out towards that ramp control, but it's into the upper head. Dually spam, Jack's tagged up, Valde looking for his kills as Martin instead that lands it. Valde able to trade back on some pirates and the kills start rolling into the CTs. Hence, hold their nerve, Afro. Trying to really make his way in from two different entries. Not entirely like he can just sort of take this one on the chin and say whether it's going to be uh, uh, an easy breeze from here. Especially with those pistols still striking. Dia, in general, he's actually had a pretty uh, poor game overall with only five picks on his own board. Julie's USP is quick. Lobby crunch inbound as well from the heat side. Ends have evaded the majority of it. Some pious will engage. Martin have to trade back as body gets that one kill, uh, kill back in. Exercise. Dia, got to try and get that bomb down straight away. And exercise, no. That's the tell. Let's start rotating bodies over. Barn will at least be guaranteed. The retake, however, is not snappy. Starts things off okay. Jack's tagged, but not dead. Afro closes in the pinstick. 
Masters at last here from Secret. Dia, boost, 17 HP. Valde's got a lot of work to do because now he's the last man standing. One on three. Decon door open. Does find out for at least. Close the door once again and provide a bit of cover. Jack's on the defuse here. No kit in. Opening it up. Trying to find the angle. Exercise trying to block him off. Even so. Tags up. Kill found. Oh my god, he's got the right man. And he's got all three as well. What's a clutch for Valde? Shotgun oh. trying to take this ramp control. Can't quite spot Valde, he might do so now. Corner, AWP missing his shot. Jocko caught switching out weapons. Bent to try and go for a dive perhaps, or just fall down to the killer Jax. It's got to be the distraction. Get Afro down into the vents as soon as your secret players come in. Garden engages body, turns around to try and continue the spray, but Afro gets it back. Three on two. Heat still hold the advantage, but the timer has gone past the halfway marker. Snappy wrapping in on Jax, equalizes with some pious. His orb peaks up. Exercise no, gets his shot. One on one, but no time even with the kit at this stage. Face out from Snappy, forcing him off the bomb and forcing Heat out of the game. 16 to 8 for Entz as they take their opening game. But I need to wait. I need to play Obviously, really important to go 1 0. So I think we're all feeling feeling really good. You know, it was the, the start we needed, but it's not like uh, anything is like set in stone yet. So there is still a lot of work to be done. I think every team here is dangerous and you cannot take anybody for granted. So it was just about like getting a good start and then like rolling with the momentum. Oh we win! Why? No! Why did he give us his first game? But we also got a round we shouldn't have. Do you know what he did? Where you kill the guy outside, and soon they hear like three guys running through hot and like, oh, are they coming home? <laughs> boom, boom, boom! I swear, well, playing single when the bomb is blended for single, we can be three, four guys in single, it doesn't matter how to retake. Yeah. You know, it's time to do push up, right? Shout and I'm ready to But if you want to go instant, go, 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 go! Everyone is talking in order. Yeah, everyone is like, no pressure at all. Like, professional need for speed, control the situation, smile. Great, Opa. You are so good, bro. So You're in it. How do you do it? I want us to keep the expectations as we have yesterday. We focus on energy. We focus on your individual strengths that you guys have, and we talked about them in the one-to-ones. But I also want you to focus a lot on the flow of energy that you have. From yesterday's match, since it was a comf comfortable win, everyone got a lot of confidence, and now you might be feeling Okay, let's do even more now. Let's get the same kind of result. Whatever you're feeling, don't do more. Don't do less. Do the same. Don't get overconfident. Don't think like we are going to be overdogs in this. We got the confidence from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like... It's so we, didn't, was... we pretty much just need to do the same. Yesterday is fucking easy to be confident both halves because we got good starts. So we just need to be ready for potentially yeah. having bad starts because it will happen half the games. Yeah. It's very good, yeah. but I think it's fine because I think they look weaker on vertical when you watch counter. Yeah. What is vertical? One, two, three. Eight. It's good, the huddle is here from now on. I like it, then when I sit, I can just sit and scream at the enemy. Yeah, ah. yeah but this, my yeah. enemy is like far away. <laughs> they will hear me through the floor. <laughs> Cannot control the emotions, Yuzi. They're, they're ninjas. Yuzi, Yuzi, please fall. These fucking ninjas is mine. Please, Yuzi, is mine. Control the situation. Please. Follow the channel. 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 Follow he has no clue what he's doing now. It's like he's feeling a girl. Wait, I need one more thing. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, I know. It's not the... Ah, oh, okay. Beep, 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 They didn't find mine yesterday, Paul. <laughs> oh, shit. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, the fact. This is our captain speaking, Robin. The flight to Korea. 
but I fought him, but... <laughs> okay, then Don't I will... sit behind me. Okay, now I need to go. Uh, the fight is gonna be like 1 hour and 15 minutes in total, but uh, the end we're gonna come home and we're gonna win this game. Hey, okay? sorry, sorry, man, sorry, man, sorry. Man. It's gonna be cloudy with uh, rain and uh, some uh, thunderstorms, so prepare for some little turbulences, uh, but it's gonna be fine and yeah, thank you. You can just see that they're trying to toy the CTs into getting some further aggression. Foul day, those flashes are gonna have to be absolutely perfect, even to spot out this first player in DR. Taps on, not headshots, just damage being done. Masuta turns on Deer and does find Martin the same. Python rushing back, Snappy, who does fall to Hadji's part. Macker engages some pious and Valde in a one on four. None of those anchors even struggling to be able to get away with one. Valde tried his best to get the retake on. It's one pick, found, looking to hunt down the next. Macker's made his way through the smoke, does find Vade Valde. Good shots back on towards them on that. Macker forced to run away and does lose his life. Masuta's extremely low. Valde's got a kill, he's caught the clutch as well. That's a full on ace to X to kick these off. How does that happen? My goodness, how has that actually happened? That's a 1v4. Uh, we had yesterday against K23. He was one to watch out for. Well, watch out for Martin in this round. He's just mowed through Maka and Fife on immediate kills. NBK also drops to the triple. Couple of players over to the bridge. Masuta's doing well to try and make it. Or in SMGs for Mars 5 7. He's looking to keep their eyes set onto this. It's Snappy and Martin get the kills in the backside. Masuta, while Python is down. Sick this landing. <laughs> <laughs> we won the game. We did a really good plan. That's all. I understand you do it to protect us also. I felt like in the Falcons match, we were pretty much in control throughout. Obviously, it helps a lot when you get that good start, and maybe we wouldn't have had that probably without the, the clutch. But even though I felt like we had a good game plan, and I think we pretty much won all the rounds that we were supposed to and then when you have a strong CT side I feel like it's always easier to play the T side when you have uh, a lot of rounds to work with and I actually think we even should have closed it out a bit earlier but we lost like the um, NC force by but I think we bounced back pretty quickly and we managed to close it out or was it like 16-6 or something nice, boys. Yeah, I feel like we play a lot better than compared to the previous tournament. I feel like the more time we have together, the more it benefits us. So now I'm starting to feel like we're slowly getting on the same page as a team. You know, people are remembering all the roles and all the strats. Um, and I think just overall we have much more calmness on team speak. And I feel like there is more room for people to go for individual plays when there is not like chaos on the server and on the team speak. So um, I think we all feel much more comfortable now. So yeah, I think that's like the main takeaway that we can feel that we had more time together at this point. Start fresh, <laughs> full of energy. Okay? Absolutely, as loud as we can, guys. Okay, and some three. One, two, three. <laughs> guys, remember three things smile, control the situation, and be happy, guys, okay? Uncle experience. <laughs> keep talking, keep Uncle. talking. Uncle. <laughs> yes. Oh, you got distracted. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't talk now. <coughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. Oh. We're into another situation of a 2-0 match. Winner of this will be a legend at the Rio Major. Flashes and smokes. Bias already spotting and taking the first shot, the headshot. It's Kito Volvus above this as they look toward him, but he can't see in the smoke. So Bias is going to get another. They're getting stalled out massively, and Volvus is going to go to work. Uh, 
nerf, which I think was necessary, but man, it has become so viable with SMGs around it again. Shots. Oh. Nailed it. Bias. Damage to you. Meanwhile, Valdo, speaking of CT, and Goose this time is the opening kill on Krimbo. Taps him. Immediate response, though. That's going to force some Pius way back. They're going to try and get another one here as Madden No Sin still down in CT spawn. Removes him. Taps and stuck on the ball. Oh. Four, but nails the first shot. Follows up with good spray control in the second. And Searson walks out, misses the shot, but they know Madden is stuck on the ramp. He's going to get around the corner. Careful, lad. He's not reloaded, though, and taps him with an AK. Oh, my God. I was about to say should win this out. Tapping Bobby knows Searson needs to peek. He needs to peek now. He opens the angle, and I think he has the time. I think he's actually done this. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be so close. He does. That's to get closer. Incendiary now is the right time. Diaz already got taps and down, though. Searson's the next in line here. He's already been tagged once. He's missed oh. the shot. That gives Sunbias a chance. B250 bomb's going to go down. And it's the advantage for Entz. But he's dinked as well. Ran out of ammo and jumped. Oh. Jumped, 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 that's it. Hey, skip the vocals. Yeah, keep Control the, the situation. Don't get overexcited. Keep, keep the energy. I'm a right? It's like a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, and well, Julie's uh, dawn at the vent, but that doesn't mean they're going that way. In fact, they want to go right through. They want what is this? this is an interesting tactic. Do they run to secret now? They're just, just trying to run off everyone one-on-one -on -one before the rotations can come in. Forget the bomb site. Let's just use a mob squad mentality. But they did certainly cause chaos. Snappy duelies can't hit anything with them. Tapson looking sharp to start off this pistol. Some bias, though, up to the task, it seems. Has it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Tapson as well. Sin has to peek. Oh! It's a bias. Nails that. Welcome to it, Spike Brother. And need this round. Or at least it appears right now as we first to be challenged. They're going to run it in. They saw the nade. They figured they Huge could get damage. ahead of them. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Probably the best nade we've seen against Armor all event long. Reverse side orange. He knows the molly's coming in. Hits the beautiful headshot. Those are still working in. Sims further up, but he spotted him last second in the peripherals. Point, right? We just saw the timeout there from Enz. Well, now Big need to have a chat. And no timeout called out of the big camp. So we get straight back underway here. Imagine it will go toward the vent right now. And it's an off angle. But Dia on turnpike as well. Snappy's able to avoid and follow up. He's ooh, got Searson out of the Dia, though. They read that play. But a Molotov will hold them off the bomb. They have to push all the way through the lower sights. Searson, good shot. Madden on the flank, though. But they've got to push down from the bottom and get oh. back. And Sun Pius is in great position with the AWP. Now they have control of the bomb. They may have had lower, but they had to go all the way through. Taps and good shot. Doesn't matter. He can't finish it after the second bullet. And it is 15 rounds for Eds. Two smokes. Exactly that. We're about to dissipate. And as it did, he spots out Sin. The alarm bells will go off. He baits out a few shots, though, as he ducks underneath the aim. Does tap Sin, but Kiddo as well will walk in. Slaughtered by two. It's Dia that will eventually go down. And the smoke, another, excuse me, the incendiary on toward the silo. Bomb not planted. Sick, my bomb. Fucking sick. That is for you guys, so you know what's coming up. Please hold it, please stand it. Major Snappy once again with your boys, with two new boys at the helm as well. How's it feel as we make it to the legend stage? It feels obviously good. Uh, we had a rough time in Pro League, but I think we did uh, amazing work and uh, kept our heads up. And uh, I think uh, we progressed a lot, and I think we can see it here, obviously. Some would say we didn't have the hardest road, but, uh, road, but it doesn't matter. I think we were very convincing of, on three of the maps we played, and I'm super proud, and it's good because Sometimes since Velde been there and it's the first time for Alvaro, he's finally getting his sticker, right? So I think everyone, <laughs> thank, thanks to the fans out there, uh, everyone cheering for us, whether they're Finnish, Danish, Spanish, Montenegro, probably not. <laughs> what <laughs> <they're> from? <laughs> for me, it's something amazing because last major, we played NIP for the Legend Spots and we didn't really play that well and we threw away that chance to go for the Legends. So, I'm pretty happy that we, even after this beautiful EPL performance, that we still 
like bounced back and we didn't give up even though the second map was really close i'm really happy that we didn't give up and we just closed it out i was never feeling anything like this even when we qualified for the pgl one even when we played on the stage i i like i didn't feel that much stress like this 14 14 round i like my heart was going crazy i swear to god i was like my hands were shaking so when when we hit like 15 i was so happy and then like the last round was also a bit stressful not like the 14 14 one but it was easier at the end the difference was that everyone of us like everyone not like one two per person like everyone improved also we had some like days to talk with the team there was a i would say a big team talk like what to improve what we should do and also one of the reasons why we like stayed cool was ula because she was also talking with a lot of us like a lot, many times she talked to us how to like do in game and what to improve and how to stay like cool i would say thanks for all the fans vamos España. I was coming to the tournament not knowing anyone, so it was for me a little bit of, I would say, it was excitement, but it also like at the same time, I was a bit nervous in terms of like how the team will react into me, whether they'll be cooperative or whether they'll be like, you know, distance. I'm super happy that it turned out that there was like no distance. The team was like super happy to work. They're super open to all the discussions we had. Uh, and at the same time, anything that I was bringing to them, it actually worked. So coming here, I was having expectations. Like my goal was that we definitely need to qualify, but the team clicked faster than I expected, which is super good. And they were like working so hard to, to reach that goal. So yeah, like I'm super proud and uh, I guess my expectations were like exceeded so I feel like this team is definitely capable of doing a lot. <sighs> I think we are like pretty happy with our performance right now but like the job is not done yet I think we need, still need to improve a lot at least our map pool there is uh, still a lot of work to do on the server even though we showed like really good results there was some still like small mistakes I would say so if we will keep improving like we did from last event to this one and then if we will still improve something for like Rotterdam then I would say that we are doing good job I feel like for the major this team is definitely capable of achieving a lot um, I would be super proud if we will end up uh, anywhere around 8th place. I feel like this is something that is definitely within our reach. But keeping in mind that they're like newly formed team and they are still learning how to, how to do a lot of things, the, the period of preparation will be super intensive for them. Uh, on the top of that, they're heading to another tournament right now. So I feel like if we will have uh, a good mental space, if we will be uh, relaxed, not tired after like all those travels and anything, uh, we can definitely pop off. But my biggest concern is like how the team will adapt to the time change because there'll be like huge time difference. So if we adapt well, I feel like top eight is something that is definitely within the uh, within the team's reach. But I also have a feeling that we can surprise even more uh, and go even beyond that. You win. Yeah.